Tempo is one of the foundational elements of a song's composition. Tempo is simply the speed at which a song is performed, or in our case, the speed at which Pro Tools will play back your session. While it's most common for a song to remain at the same tempo for its entire duration, there may be scenarios where you want to change your session's tempo at specific points throughout the song. In this video, I'm going to show you various methods of making tempo changes in Pro Tools. If you know your session will require various tempo changes throughout, it's best practice to map out these tempo changes before recording any musical material. So when you create a new Pro Tools session, the session is configured by default to follow the tempo events in the tempo ruler, also known as the session tempo map. The tempo map can be toggled on and off as needed. To use the tempo map, ensure that the conductor track is enabled in the transport window. So I'm going to hit Command-1 on the numeric keypad, or Control-1 if you're on Windows, to bring up my transport window. The conductor track will ensure the click track responds to changes in the tempo map. When this button is blue, it means the conductor track is toggled on. If it's not blue, that means it is toggled off. So I'm going to keep it toggled on. The simplest way to change your session tempo at a specific point is to use the Add Tempo Change option in Pro Tools. To insert an individual tempo event, you can do one of the following. Place the playback cursor on the bar and beat location where you want to add the tempo event. Then click the Add Tempo Change button, which is this plus button, at the left of the tempo ruler to add a tempo change at that location. Clicking it will bring up the Tempo Change dialog box. So I'm going to cancel that for now and show you a different way to do this. In the Tempo Ruler, at the location where you want to insert a tempo event, just control click if you're on Mac, or start click if you are on Windows. While holding the control or start key, the cursor will display as a grabber tool with a plus sign. When I click, it will automatically bring up the Tempo Change dialog box. So I'm going to change my tempo here to 110 beats per minute and click OK. The new tempo event will be inserted at the specified location and will appear in the tempo ruler. Tempo events appear as small triangles, followed by a note icon and a BPM indicator. To change the location of a tempo event, you can either click and drag on the triangle to move it around, or you can double click on the triangle and change the location. You can also change the BPM value of the tempo event. So those methods of adding and editing tempo events are effective for creating simple tempo changes at specific bar and beat locations. However, Pro Tools provides additional options for displaying and editing tempo events. The Graphic Tempo Editor can be expanded to display a graphical representation of your tempo changes using a menu command or the ruler's expand and collapse triangle. To display the Graphic Tempo Editor, navigate to View, Rulers, Tempo Editor. Or you can click the expand and collapse triangle on the tempo ruler. The Grabber tool lets you change tempo settings by dragging individual tempo events in the Tempo Editor. To edit a tempo event with the Grabber tool, you can do one of the following. You can drag the vertical tempo line to the left or right to adjust the location of the tempo event. Or you can drag this diamond-shaped tempo event up or down to increase or decrease the tempo. To remove a tempo event with the Grabber tool, Option click if you are on Mac, or Alt click if you are on Windows. There may be situations where you would like to add a gradual increase in tempo or a gradual decrease in tempo. For example, if you want to connect two tempo events with a gradual change rather than making a sudden tempo change, this will be the operation you want to perform. And this can be done using the pencil tool. 
tempo events can be drawn in the tempo editor using the pencil tool with the following shapes. Freehand, line, parabolic, and S-curve. The triangle, square, and random pencil shapes are not functional in the tempo editor. I'm going to choose line. I can now draw a line to connect these two tempo events. The shape you draw is reproduced as a series of steps according to the tempo edit density setting. The Tempo Edit Density button in the Tempo Editor lets you specify the density of tempo events created in the Tempo Ruler when you draw a tempo curve with the Pencil Tool. Immediately after drawing in your new tempo using the Pencil Tool, a tempo curve appears, outlining the newly created tempo graph. Blue adjustment handles also appear on the curve, which you can use to adjust the shape and size of the new tempo graph. The Trim tool lets you scale all the tempo events in your session or scale selected tempo events only. The Trim tool also lets you stretch a selection of tempo events to cover a longer or shorter area in the timeline. So I'm going to choose the selector first and select all the tempo events. Now I'm going to switch to the Trim tool. To scale the tempo of the selected events, I can just click within the selected area and drag up or down. If I want to apply a linear speed increase or decrease across existing events, click either the start or end handle for the selected range and drag up or down.